First of all, congratulations for the new project Prelude. I love it. That performance was amazing. I mean, everything, the songs, the lyrics, the choreography, the acting parts, dancing, clothes. How was the production? It was amazing. It was one of the most magical days of my life. I will never forget it. <laughs> it was, um, everyone was so dialed in, all of the crew, the cast, like every, like the dancers, the the camera, the wor people working the cameras, the people on set, like making sure everything got done. Like every single person was so talented and vibrant and present. And I couldn't have asked for a better experience, honestly. Like having it come, having what I had been seeing in my brain come to life was, it's, it's been really beautiful. It's been very affirming. You must be very proud. I am. I'm really proud of myself. <laughs> <laughs> I am. I'm hella proud of myself. I did that shit. <laughs> it's like a sun, right? <laughs> yeah. You were very excited on Twitter yesterday. Can you describe the way you are feeling about Prelude? Yeah, I mean, it's, I mean I'm just ecstatic. Like, I, I, I'm so grateful. I feel like I've, I've been feeling a lot of gratitude, a lot of like happiness, a lot of presence. I feel grounded, I feel at peace. I feel like I'm moving in my purpose, you know? Great. What has changed about you in the past few years as a, as a singer, as a woman, and as a composer? Um, <laughs> a lot. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, yeah, from 21 to 25 was definitely quite the journey. I've learned so much about myself as a, as a person from like my heart, my resilience, my capabilities, um, my talent, my, I've learned a lot about business, um, but also learning it so that I can modify it to where I create an ecosystem and a new kind of reality where people don't have to be exploited, you know? And so being an, like, as an artist though, I've grown so much. I've learned from so many of my collaborators. I have also just like learned a lot about me and, and, and delving into how much I actually am capable of. Um, yeah, a lot. I've learned a lot. Now that you are independent singer, uh, how did you make this choice? Why did you make this choice? Uh, are you your own boss? How it works right now? Uh, yes, I'm my own boss, 100%. <laughs> I own my own masters and I own my publishing. Um, it's just the reason I always felt like it was going to be somewhere in my future but I did not expect for it to be now. I did not expect to be 25 and to be able to say that. I expected that that was gonna happen later in my career, to be honest. But um, I mean, I've just, you know, and it's not to say that this is everyone's experience, although it's a lot of people's experience that I've personally spoken to, is that the major label system has no empathy for the artist. And I, I'm an empathetic artist. <laughs> and so I really needed the space to be myself. I really needed to be able to execute my creative vision, which to, for me, I'm a vessel, I'm a spirit that is inspired by like life. You know what I'm saying? It's not, it, it's not, I'm being used to channel things through my art. That's what, that's how I feel about my relationship with art. And so when somebody who doesn't even make art tries to tell me what art is and what is good or is not good, it just really broke my soul. It, it really like, like when I first got into the industry at 16, I had no idea how many illusions there were. I had no idea how much stuff that I thought was real wasn't real. And it really broke my heart at the time because I had always connected to music because it was healing for me and because it made me feel something, right? And then when I got into the industry, I was kind of told that songwriting wasn't going to be part of my career and that you know we had to sing other people's songs and we had to do this and that um in order for something to work okay. and that was just never what I was about I just wanted to make art and if people fuck with it cool and if they don't 
okay, maybe I'm not good at art. You know what I'm saying? Like that was kind of the way I saw it, but I just realized that there were so many mechanisms that made songs work, you know? And I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to be part of that. And people, and the people that I was working with didn't really fuck with that. You know, they wanted to be able to tell me what to do. And um, it, there were a lot of battles and I have fought my whole life to be able to have this moment right now. <laughs> Sorry. I don't have to fight anymore. I don't have to prove anything to anybody about whether or not I deserve investment. I invest in myself and I create what I see and I can give it to people at my um, will. And that's what art is for. And that's what it's supposed to be. And so, yeah, that's why I made that choice. About that new single, Scattered, what a powerful song. Do you think it's, it's important to talk about mental health these days? How do you feel about this song? Because yeah. um, I, I need to tell you this. I, I have anxiety and depression. And this song, it's, it's really powerful. And the song touched me so deeply. And I can't stop to listen to the song. The song is perfect. Thank you, baby. And can That's you tell about more about this single? It. Honestly, like, I don't know if I... I don't know if I like purposefully intended to, to muse about my mental health. I think that the process of writing became that because that's what I was going through. You know what I'm saying? So because it was what I was going through and it was the, they were the genuine feelings that I had, I was able to express. And these songs were so cathartic for me because I was able to get out how I feel. And what I love about songwriting is that you have like three to four minutes or sometimes more if you're more creative, <laughs> but like you got like three to four minutes to give somebody a concept, to, 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 to help, to, to tell somebody what you're feeling, right? And so to be concise like that and to, to be able to get to the point, it's just, it's really healing for me because I'm like, oh, that's how I'm feeling. That's, that's what it is, you know? And then I'm able to write that. And then for, that's the, the whole reason I make art, babe, is for what you just told me, that you have anxiety and depression. I also have anxiety and depression that comes in and out. And, and I move through those feelings often. Um, but the fact that you heard it and you feel it and it makes you feel less alone, that's why I do it. Yeah. Do you think Latin music, singing in Spanish and everything is sexier? Yeah. Because I do. <laughs> I do. I mean, I, I like singing sexy things in all languages, to be fair, but singing in Spanish is has a natural sexiness to it. Um, that's like unparalleled, in my opinion. I, I love Spanish. I think it's such a beautiful language. And I think that expressing myself in both languages is something that I naturally just do. I grew up in a household that spoke Spanglish. I grew up around my grandparents who only spoke to me in Spanish. And um, it's just a huge part of my identity and a huge part of my expression. And so to get to do it in a balanced way is, is, is great for me. And I can't wait to make more Latin music, like more, more, more music with Spanish presence in it. What's your relationship with your Brazilian fans? Do, oh do you have a, a memory from Brazil? I have so many memories from Brazil. Brazil, first of all, my Brazilian fans are the shit. They're amazing. They are so warm and kind and present and supportive and excited and vibrant. I love them. Um, and yeah, I've had, I've had so many beautiful experiences. I have, I, I mean, I say this story all the time, but I did my first performance like by myself in front of like a big crowd in an arena when I opened up for Halsey in Sao Paulo. Uh, I went around Latin America with her, but um, the first show was in Sao Paulo and I'll never forget that day for the rest of my life. Like I felt so overwhelmed by love because when I got onto that stage, I was an opening act and everyone was already in the arena to watch, which was already jolting. Cause I was like, Whoa, like people give a fuck. Awesome. <laughs> But then when I, when I started <laughs> singing, um, they, they started singing the words back to me and it was unreleased music and they don't even speak English half of them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> So when I got like that validation and just like the energy that they were giving me, I could barely hear myself sing because they were because they were so loud and singing back to me. You know what I mean? So yeah, I love Brazil.